Hey YouTube, here's the second part of the rear assault session that we filmed at Krav Maga Nottingham. If you missed the first part, then check out the link in the description or there'll be a pop-up card somewhere around. I hope you're enjoying the content and if you are and you want to see more videos then do the usual like and subscribe because it really helps us out. Uh, but for now, enjoy. The last part is with these with these um, manipulations and attacks from the rear, they can be environmental as well. I mean, there's environmental considerations. One of the ones that we do cover is being driven forward into a wall. What we don't often cover is being ragged to the ground. So we'll look at what you know, and then we'll look at what you don't, probably haven't covered so much. In this case, when I'm driven, driven to the wall, my priority is to stop this hitting my face. So if there's a relative amount of distance between me and a, a reactionary distance, as he drives me to the wall, I can do what is an instinctual. If a less distance between that, then what I might do is drive, <laughs> take the impact on the side of the shoulder. Whatever you do first, that's great. Just don't do that. After you've done some kind of recovery, then it's to go back to what you just did, which is <laughs> that. Because I don't know from here, stop yourself, from here that, <laughs> that. Or it could be one, bam. Do you understand? So stop it and then cover your head up. So you're going to go with what you know first, which is a fixated hold and pressure from here. You cover your head now, turn, sight, attach, that. And then, once you've done that a couple of times, you will drive, bounce off, and now start to hit like you did before. And it's exactly the same thing as before. What you may find is this now becomes, the wall becomes a a support structure for you and your weight is like this so you can't burst off use what god gave you and kick on the low line so if i'm hitting here then you can just boot up and now he can work his way in it's not coming to the balls coming to the shin whatever but first thing you're going to do push hold break yeah and we'd go through that next thing we'll do push well let's start then hit in the pad and you do exactly what you just did before Now you're up the power with the pads, yeah? So all I want you to do is just brace yourself, cover your head, yeah? And then just I'll, I'll give a little demonstration. So show from here, cover your head. Do you understand? There's no point doing it this, because you, what's the point? Yeah, so I'll shove him. Yeah? He's, he's relatively safe, yeah? It fucking hurts. But he sights, turns, gets out whenever he can, yeah? But you must give that power. You could even go to, yeah? So I'm drilling him straight away. So you don't know now. Either shove or drill into the wall, okay? Good shot, good lad. Right, next thing we're going to do is looking at it from the rear, right? Often we work it where there is enough grace between me and my partner that allows him to move his feet fast enough to turn to do it. Yeah? But what if you're dealing with somebody who wants to pull you down like that? And I didn't tell him it was coming because that's the reaction that you might get. What do you do with that? Well, exactly the same thing as what you've just done. Right? Which would be... Protect your noggin on the way down, sight him, and then you put your feet where you normally do, and then you work your way back up. But to graduate that, we'll work it so you, you go down on your haunches, so squat down, squat down, squat. Just so my partner gets used to that, I pull and he lands, yeah? So he took his hands away, do it again. So I'll coach him, make it better. So just, all he's practicing really is not splashing, it's protecting the head, yeah? So, that's it, all right? That's where you all want him to do first. He steps ahead of me in the lessons. Be more dumber, please. <laughs> Just want him to, that's it, all right? Once you get comfortable with that, then you go, you stand up a bit. That. So you just get used to that internal gyroscope of going, that, okay? Which can very easily happen. It doesn't matter how you fall, 
fall on your side, get back to a good position and find where he is. Okay, let's go. Now you don't know what's going to happen. You can drill him from the rear, you can drive him into the wall, push off him and start filling him in, or you can keep the pressure on the wall, I can pull him back, or my aim can be to take him down. Stick to the same thing all the way through. Yeah, don't try and seek what he's going to do. What do we say? Cover your fucking head. Deal with the initial fall or projection into something. Get off the line of attack, sight him and find him. If, the, if you're up, find him, attach to him, and then beat him down. If you're on the ground, put something better in, in between you and him. Okay? Any of those are what you've just done in the last 50, well, 35 minutes, yeah? All right, Gaffin. All right, just very quick debrief. So he was looking at rear attack. That's how you can summarize it. It's hard to quantify what that is. Just, it's just stimuli. Fuck, what the fuck is that? My brain takes a few seconds to catch up with that. So we need something simple. Cover your head. Get off the line of attack, sight him, and then close the distance if possible. But then also deal with any kind of environmental consequences. If the, if the environment's coming to play, you're gonna have to deal with that first, and then hopefully get out. Not to say that if you weren't, you didn't, you let the first and second punch and the second punch was knocking you out, you're out, sorry. There's nothing you can do about that. But whilst you're slightly fucked, you've got a chance. Hi there, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and the content that we're putting together. If you did, then it would really help if you could like the video and subscribe to help us grow. Feel free to comment or tell us what you'd like to see on here. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one.